Good morning everybody. What we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to create artwork in the style of Kensuke Koiki, a famous Japanese photographer slash artist. You can see here that he takes some images and just flips them. He cuts shapes out and he inverts them. Some he makes little mathematical problems out of shapes and then he sticks them all together. He actually uses actual photos, so today we're just going to use Photoshop, okay? It's a quick win. But over these next two, three videos, next two, three lessons, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to cut shapes using the marquee tool and then cut shapes using the lasso tool. You can see in my PowerPoint here, if you are studying GCSE or A-level, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've got information about the artist and why you like their work, images by the artist, and then some good ones and some bad ones of how you've tried to apply yourself to his work, uh, show what you've been experimenting with and how you've done them, and then put them all together neatly and explain your favourite edits, your most successful. Alright, so what we're going to do today is we're just going to focus in on this one and this one. So we'll start with this. I've already got a picture prepared of Marcus Rashford. So we're going to go through the marquee tool, the lasso tool, and the crop tool today. So we'll start with the crop, just to show you how to use this, we're just going to get rid of that. And if you wanted to look, you could just spin it a little bit, like so, by just using that bent arrow. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to leave him nice and flat like so. So I've just cropped the edges to just focus in on him. So now, if you go to image, adjustments, and black and white. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make that image black and white, nice and simple. And the reason that I'm doing that is because all of Kensuke Koiki's works are in black and white. And if you did want to uh, give it that vintage feel, you know, the antique look, or if you wanted to try and make it a little bit sepia so that it looks like it's been created in a dark room, you're just going to go to Image, Adjustments, and then down here, all these will help you by just changing things. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look at the colour balance. And if I just bring this here, and if you just move some of these, you can see that you can just add or subtract a certain colour. So if you just have a play with those, and then you can find whereabouts you want it. And you can see that I've made it a little bit red, a little bit brown, in the style of an antique photograph. Right, so... What I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to grab all of these and I'm going to get rid of background. So on layer one, I'm just going to copy it and paste it so that Rashford's underneath. And then on layer two, I'm going to go straight to the marquee tool and I'm just going to grab little slices and then you can just move it okay so what I'm going to do now is if I click that and move it nothing will really happen so if I just hold control you can see some little scissors appear and what happens there is that means that you can cut it and you can move it just like so so if you just keep it simple and then again start again Again, every single time you do it, you're just going to be holding control like so until you see the scissors appear. But you can see why it was really important that I duplicated the layer at the bottom right hand corner, and that is when I move it, you can see. I've got that background. If I didn't have that, if I just remove that, you can see that I'm going to end up with all these little white gaps. But if you have it there, it stops that from happening. And there you go. So you've got the marquee tool. If you hold on it, you can do the elliptical marquee tool. So what we can do is we can just run through it again if you wanted to. Got a picture here of Messi. The 
again, what we're going to get image adjustments, black and white. So you've got a nice black and white image. And then again, just to make it that sepia or that vintage look, we're just going to go to adjustments. And then down here, we can find color balance. And you can move them about however you want. So that you, and also, as well, you can mention all this in your PowerPoint. Um, what the moderator really likes is that you're experimenting and that you're trying all different things to see which one works. Okay, so I'm going to stick with that. And then you can see here, this is Messi lifting the World Cup. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here again to layer. We're just going to copy and paste that again. And then working on top of layer two, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold that and change it to the elliptical marquee tool. And I'm just going to quite literally do exactly the same as I did with Rashford. Hold control. Can you see when I'm holding control, it changes from a box to scissors. And then I'm just going to move that see that obviously it's moved it See if I take that off, just a nice simple photograph. If I add that on, you see that I've moved all those images. If I hadn't have copy and pasted that layer, which some of you might have done wrong, you need to go back in your history button like this and start all over again. But if you've done it correctly, you don't have to start again and you should have all of these images moved like so. happy with your image when you're happy with your image you can of course just use the snipping tool to chuck it into your PowerPoint or you could even download the file and then upload that to your file to your PowerPoint That's how to use the marquee tool, how to black and white a photo, and how to give it that glitch effect. So now the harder part, we're just going to move on to how to cut images out and how to create that mask effect. This will be the build up, this is the easy version and then next we're going to do the Marcelo Monreal, which is where the flowers are exploding. Okay, So try and do two or three 
or even more if you can. They don't take really long and try and get them in the same style as Kensuke Koiki. Okay.